Hey guys, this is Joel, and today I'm going to show you how to do some green screen in Gary's Mod to make videos such as this one I just uploaded. Yeah, so that's what we're going to learn to do today. So, uh, I'm going to do this Gary Mods 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro 2. Uh, it's very similar to Adobe Premiere Pro, so you should be able to follow steps either way. If you don't know how to use those programs, I'm sorry. So anyway, first what you need is a green screen map. Now, there's two really good ones that I suggest on garysmod.org. I'll provide a link in the video information. But you have the GM stage zip, yeah, and that's like, uh, it's all green as you can see, but there's props and stuff, and shadows as you can see. Right there. And there's the GM blue and green screen right over here, which is two big rooms made of solid colors. It's kind of hard to navigate, but you know, that's, that's what I use. You know, the, so anyway. You want to download whatever one you want to use, right? And you know how to add maps. You download it, unzip it, and then put it in your map folder here in my directory. So, with that, you want to open up Gary's Mod. So, bear with me as this loads. Okay, now once you get Gary's Mod open and you've added the map, you just got to go to uh, play single player. And after it loads, you want to go to. It won't be here. You got to go to browse all. I'm assuming. Just explain this, you know. But uh, you go to that and you just uh, go down to you find GM, whatever it was. I use the uh, blue and green one, so it should be right there. So you just double click that and hit start game and wait for it to load. Alright, now this is uh, how it starts out. You know, you're in Gary's mode and you got the green side and the uh, blue side of the level. I'm not going to cover recording options, but I'm just going to show a little example. Uh, so I'm just going to spawn, like, Isaac Kleiner, because everyone likes to kill this guy. Alright, and then you just start recording with whatever method you do, and then just like, wow, that was amazing. So right, then you can stop recording and quit your game. Yeah, quit. And after that quits, you probably want to open up your video editor, assuming you have your video. Like I said, Adobe Premiere Pro 2 is what I'll be using for this tutorial. Now you gotta make your uh, new projects. I just use standard at 48 gigahertz, whatever. And name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Toot. So, do a screen like this. And what you'll need to do is you'll just need to uh, import your footage. So just go to File Import. And import anything you want to. Uh, I'm going to use a picture of a kitchen for the background. Import that. And then I'm going to use just some random video I had earlier filmed. Just for an example here. Whatever this one, I'll use this. Ah uh, yes, this is of Isaac Kleiner dying. So this should go fairly well. So what you want to do is you want to drag the background into video one. And you want to just drag it out, whatever. Then you want to put the green screen footage, video 2, or whatever, on top of the background. And you can zoom in and crop the background length to fit the uh, green screen bit. Zoom in a bit here. Now, to make it see-through, all you want to do is just uh, go to uh, Video Effects, and then Keying, and look for one called Green Screen Key. Drag and drop that on there. So as you can see, it's already see-through right now but it's not too good. So you want to go up here and click Effects Controls and then uh, I turn uh, smoothing on high and I usually put about 20 to 30 cutoff which you can see improved it a bit and then I'm going to do a bit more so I'll put it on 30 and see so that's pretty good right there. Right? Now I'm going to hit Enter just to record the previous. Okay, and you can do other video effects, but this is just the basic uh, green screen part. So I got it rendered, so let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Kleiner got killed in his own kitchen. What a pity. So after that, you want to go to uh, File, uh, Export, Movie. I go to Settings, and I change it to Microsoft, uh, AVI, Entire Sequence Video. You can set it to whatever frame size you want, etc., etc. I put uh, bit depth in the keyframe and rendering up to maximum. 
and audio, etc., etc. Then you hit OK, then you name it whatever you want, and hit Save, and then it'll start rendering. And when that's done, you'll have the file of your choice with your video. And it's up to you to figure out how to add music and all that. Uh, so that basically covers it for the green screen. It's the same thing for blue, only you got to use the uh, blue screen keying effect, which is right there. So uh, I hope this helped. I'm probably going to make another video tutorial on uh, Source Recorder and Fraps to help you get it uh, from the game to this stage. But uh, thanks for listening. This is Joel, and uh, see ya.